Tired of not being able to score that perfect campsite at that national park, state park, or COE? Don't worry, I'm here to tell you exactly how to snag the perfect campsite with a brand new program that's just launched. This new website includes over 200,000 campsites at almost 13,000 campgrounds, and it includes every national park, every Army Corps of Engineer park, and every state park in California. Over the next few weeks, they'll be adding all the Florida state parks and state parks in Canada. Does Canada call them state parks? I know how hard it is to book a national park campground because they book at least a year out. That is why I'm so excited about this program. And what's the name of this program, you ask? Camp Scanner, because that is exactly what it's going to do. It is going to scan recreation.gov, reserve America, and ca.gov for a cancellation and then send you a notification when there's one available. Now that you know what it is, I'll take you inside and show you just how easy it is to use. Be sure and stick around to the end because I have a special deal for you for Camp Scanner. Before I take you inside and show you how easy it is to use Camp Scanner, I do want to let you know we are not affiliates with Camp Scanner and will not make any money if you join Camp Scanner today. Welcome to Camp Scanner. This is the program that is going to get you those reservations you're dying for. As you can see, Camp Scanner has a ton of campsites already listed, but they will be adding more campsites, starting with all the Florida state parks as well as parks in Canada. So for all of our Canadian friends, it's coming. Let's jump right in and I'm going to show you how easy it is to use. After you join Camp Scanner, you're going to create yourself a scan. So simply come to the top and click Create Scan. Then you're going to type in the National Park, State Park, or Army Corps of Engineer Park that you would like to get a reservation at. Today we're going to try for Yosemite. So let's type that in. And as you can see, as soon as you start typing, it's going to populate it for you. So let's click on Yosemite National Park. And when it pulls up, you can see it's going to show you all the possible campgrounds in Yosemite. And once you have your park up here at the top selected, you can choose up to five campgrounds within that specific park. So let's choose five, and then we're going to continue to add filters. Now, if you want to investigate all of these campgrounds to see which five you would like to choose, that's fine. You can do that. But I'm just going to be random today. You can click here for ADA sites if that's something you need. And then you'll come down and click which site type you would like, either a tent site or an RV site. We're choosing RV sites today. And then you're going to add your, your vehicle link. So we're going to hit 30 feet and then continue to select our arrival dates. Now, when you're choosing your dates, you're only choosing the day you want to arrive. You're not going to put the whole time you want to be at that campground. So let's choose June 7th. And then down here, you're going to see flexible dates. I recommend everyone click flexible dates. And what that's going to do for you, it's actually going to look for availability not only on the 7th, but also on the 6th and the 8th. It will make it a little easier for you to land the campground that you want. After you choose your date of arrival, you're going to click continue and then you're going to come here to add the number of nights you would like the reservation for. I am just going to put two for now, but remember you can choose all the way up to eight nights. One thing to think about, the more nights you choose, the more difficult it is to get a reservation. So I'm going to hit two. Of course, a lot of you guys aren't going to want just two nights at a national park. So choose whatever you want and we can do some other options later on and I'll show you how to do that. So we're choosing two and start scan and you'll see that my scan was created. Now I'm going to click go to my scans. And as you can see here, I actually have nine scans set up here in Camp Scanner, and it is searching and searching for availability for me right now. So let's create another scan, and I want to show you a couple of things. We're going to hit Create Scan, and this time we're going to search for an Army Corps of Engineer Park. And one of the ones we like is Seven Points, and that's in Tennessee right outside Nashville. So let's click that. Now you'll see here under this umbrella of these campgrounds, they actually have several different campgrounds as well as day use areas. Obviously, if you would like to make a reservation at a campground, you are not going to click these day use areas. But if the goal is just to get to Nashville, you can click seven points as well as the campground surrounding seven points. Again, you get up to five campgrounds 
and then you can continue on and finish your scan. Now let's pop back again and we are going to change our park. Let's put in an Army Corps of Engineer Campground Gunter Hill and that is another one of our favorites and if you're curious about this campground I will put a link below for a review that we did. Now you can see here under Alabama River Lakes is where Gunter Hill is and they have shelters, several shelters as well as several campgrounds. So again, you can choose which campgrounds you want to get you in that area. If the only campground you're hoping for is Gunter Hill, just leave those off and just leave Gunter Hill listed. One more time, let's head back to the beginning and create a new scan. And this time we're going to do California and I'm just going to put in California. And you can see it is listing all the state parks listed in California. And we're just going to randomly pick one. And you can see here there are a ton of options for this park, which is Plumas National Forest. You can choose five campgrounds for it to scan for you. If you try to click a six, you will get an error. So click the five and then you can continue on and set up your scan. So now that you know how to create a scan to find your perfect campground, let's go in and set up notifications so Camp Scanner can alert you when they find you a spot. So you're gonna click your name here and then go to notifications and you're gonna make sure your phone number is listed here. That way you can receive a text alert whenever there is availability at the campground you're looking for. While we are over here in this section, let's go ahead and show you how to get help. If you're a little confused about how to set things up, they do offer some help. So one help button is right here. The other help button is right down here. So you can click those and Camp Scanner will give you some help if you need it. You can send them a message or you can simply come down here and do a search and help and get the answer to your question. Let's talk about a few tips and tricks to help ensure you get the campground you're looking for. First, I recommend setting up several scans with several different dates for the campground that you're looking for. You can also set up several lengths of time for that scan. So you can have three scans for Yosemite one starts on the 8th, one starts on the, the 12th, and one starts on the 15th. That way, each one of those scans will be scanning for three different days, and you will ensure that you get the spot you're looking for. When Camp Scanner finds you a campground with a cancellation or availability in the time that you're looking for, they are immediately going to send a text to your phone. Now this text is also going to include a link so you can click that link and go directly over and make your reservation. Camp Scanner will find you availability but it does not book the campground for you. You're going to have to go in and book the campground. This website is going to be scanning for those campgrounds 24-7 and it's going to find something for you. It could be at 3 a.m. So at 3 a.m. you might get a text that says we have availability for you. So you're going to have to decide if you want those notifications on your cell phone to come at 3 a.m. or if you're going to shut them off and wait. Remember once that reservation is canceled it is open for anybody on those websites to to snag that reservation. So you're going to want to jump in and click over and make that reservation as soon as possible so you can get it. Now that you've made your reservation, you're going to want to cancel your scan so it's not continuing to search and send you alerts all the time. Let's pop over to my scans. It's really simple to cancel. So you're going to click on the one you've made the reservation for and you're just going to click cancel scan. It's going to ask, did you find a campsite? And boom, it's canceled. Camp Scanner is a membership, and of course, it's going to cost money. So let's go through the different memberships. But just remember not to go anywhere because I'm going to tell you how to save money on these memberships. Camp Scanner has three tiers of membership. Each one of these scans for a different amount of time and will allow you to have a different amount of scans going at once. So for base camp, which is their entry level, it scans every 15 minutes and you can have five scans going at once. The summit, which is their highest, will scan every five minutes and you can have up to 15 scans going all at one time. Now, before you decide which membership you want and which one's gonna work best for you, if you are a Harvest Host member with the All Access Plan, and that plan includes Harvest Host, Boondockers Welcome, and Golf, then you can get the Summit Plan, which is their highest tier, for 58% off. This makes the Summit the same price as Basecamp. So all you have to do is sign up using the email address that you signed up for Harvest Host with. 
Now, for those of you without the Harvest Host All Access Plan, I have negotiated a 20% off coupon for you. This is the largest discount you're going to find with Camp Scanner without the All Access Plan. But there is a catch. It is only good for the next two days. So don't wait. To get the 20% off, use Sunday 20 within the next two days and you can get your membership for 20% off. Now, if you're watching this video and the coupon has already expired, don't worry. I do have a 15% off coupon that you can use right now and you just type in someday when you're signing up for your membership and you'll get that 15% off. You'll find all the links and codes we've talked about today down below in the description box. Just click that see more button and you'll see all the links you're looking for. Again, we are not affiliates with Camp Scanner and we are not going to make any money if you join. So this is the whole reason why I was able to neg negotiate that higher discount for you. But obviously I didn't really care about the money. I just wanted to get this in front of you guys so you can start making your summer plans. I really think this website is going to be a game changer for us so we can finally start getting some of those national park and state park reservations that we all want. By the way, we negotiate and land deals all the time for our community. If you want to take advantage of these deals, make sure you sign up for our newsletter because that's usually where we put them. And you can sign up for the newsletter at todayissomeday.net or of course I'll drop a link down below. And we send out a weekly newsletter with all kind of deals for travel and RVing and we also send a ton of travel and RV info. So Go ahead and sign up and you won't miss a thing. I really hope this website finds you the perfect site for this summer. And if you land something with Camp Scanner, please reach out to us and let us know. You can drop it in the comments here or send us an, an email at info at todayissomeday.net. And I'm dying to hear what you think about this new website. So drop your comments down below. I can't wait to talk to you.